Welcome everyone to Tea Fairy and Friends Storytime Adventures. My name is Holly Witch and it's nice to see you after a very fun Halloween. Hey, where's Tea Fairy? Our friend Tea Fairy needed a little extra personal space this week, just like we all do sometimes. Today for show and tell, I brought my Kindle. So my Kindle is a tiny computer that's just meant for reading books. This is one of my favorite things because it can hold so many books and I love reading books. It's really small, it fits in a backpack, I can take it anywhere, I love reading on the airplane with it, or sometimes before I fall asleep, or sometimes I just like to enjoy a book when I need some personal space. So you open it up and it shows you all of the books that I used in school and I can go to the top and it has some books for drawing, some of my favorite storybooks, and the book that we're about to read today. So, let's get started. The book we're going to read today is called Embrace Your Own Space, and it's written by Joan Morgenstern and illustrated by Emily Gommel. Have you ever heard of a bubble of space that starts at your feet and goes up to your face? Each bubble of space has a job it must do, provide healthy distance between me and you. It works just like magic and helps to define the space that is yours and the space that is mine. It stops germs from spreading between you and me and keeps them away so we both stay germ-free. And all through the day, as we move in and out, our bubble of space is right there to help out. Pretend I am standing too close to your face. Step back, there it is, your own bubble of space. Whenever I see you but can't come too near, I stop so my bubble of space can appear. At school, while I'm waiting and standing in line, my bubble of space comes in handy each time. And if I am sitting too close or too snug, I find my own bubble of space on the rug. Wherever I go and no matter the place, I always rely on my bubble of space. Now find your own bubble of space. Let's all try. Spread out your arms like you're ready to fly. That's just the right distance. You've got a great start. Your bubble of space keeps you arm's length apart. Then say, thank you bubble for a job well done, for giving us room to stay safe and have fun. And that's the end of our story. What a fun book. Thanks for learning about personal space and listening to this wonderful book. Let's learn about how some of our friends enjoy their own personal space. Bye. Hey Whatnots, tell us about your personal space. When I want to have my personal space, I ride my bike to the beach. Tractor. Wow, look at all this beautiful farmland. Moo. 
saying hello to people on their walks. It's Mad River. I made it to Mad River Beach. I can't wait to explore and watch the sunset. Thanks, Whatnots. Let's go check out a fun craft. This craft has to do with our next book that we're about to read, and it is a cape for your elbow. So for this craft, we're going to need our picture, a pair of scissors. Make sure you're careful and have a grown-up help you because they're sharp. I've got some paints, my water, some brushes, a palette. I've got a piece of chalk. This is Taylor's chalk, so it's very flat, but you can just use regular sidewalk chalk. I have a needle and thread, and again, please be careful and ask a grown-up for help because the needle is sharp. We need some tape to hold our project in place. I have a few hair ties to attach the cape to my arm, and I have some old t-shirts and an old pillowcase here so we can recycle and reuse materials that we already have. I think I like the color of this dark blue old pillowcase so I'll be using that for my cape. So I'll clear off my area to get ready to start and of course have a sip of tea. So tasty. So the first step is going to be to lay out the fabric flat. I'll make sure I have enough room to do everything. Just zoom in through it a little bit here. So once I have my fabric all flattened out, I'm going to fold it in half because our cape is symmetrical actually don't have to draw the whole thing I just need to draw half of it and then when I unfold the shape it will turn into a cape shape this is a lot like cutting out a snowflake from a piece of paper or a heart shape from a piece of paper for Valentine's if you've ever made those so I'll draw my line in the shape that was on the page from our book use my chalk for that and then I'll be very careful with my sharp scissors and I'm going to cut out my cape shape Fold it and that's our cape. So the next step is going to take some of our tape and I am just going to put some on the edges to hold my cape in place while we paint on the little super elbow emblem. So I've got my paints and my palette and a few brushes. I'm going to 
squirt out some red paint, some yellow paint, and some white paint. Get my brush ready. and start painting. When I was a kid, I always used to love watching people do these fast painting videos where it was all sped up. I thought it was so cool to see a face appear out of the paper. And I still have a lot of practice to do, but I always wanted to be an amazing artist like that. Red and yellow, just like the picture. Remember, this is your elbow cape, so you can make these colors whatever colors you want. But I thought these colors looked good on a superhero cape, so I stuck with the example. I let it dry overnight, and I'm coming back the next day. And I'm going to just cut off some of the extra little strings and peel up the tape so I can get ready to attach the arm loops. <laughs> Oops, I got a little bit of paint on the table, but that's okay, I can wipe it up. So I'll take my needle and thread and some hair elastics. Give them a nice stretch so they fit over my arm a little bit better. And I'll flip over my little elbow cape and use my chalk to make a mark where I plan to attach the elastic. So now my cape is all finished and the last thing that there is to do is put it on my arm and try it out. And then we have a big sneeze, a uh, chew. Thanks Super Elbow. Let's welcome Miss Jennifer for our next story. Hi friends, it's Jennifer here out in Greenbelt getting a little personal space. When I need some personal space, I like to go outside and take a little time to myself and maybe, maybe read a book. Should we read a book? The book we're reading today is gonna be Way to Go Elbow, about teaching children to reduce the spread of germs. It's by Joan Morgenstern, and it's illustrated by Lucy Williams. Let's check it out. It's Way to Go Elbow. What do you do with a sneeze and a cough when the tickle inside is about to blast off? Try bending your arm by your face. Way to go. Relax so it lands right inside your elbow. Your elbow will work like a sign that says stop by holding back sniffles and spit drop by drop. It stops germs from spreading between me and you. That's one awesome thing that an elbow can do. Do 
Did you know that germs like to travel about? Your elbow stands guard and says, germs don't come out. Let's practice this now so you'll know what to do whenever you cough or have a big achoo. Just bend your own arm very close to your face so all of your germs land inside that small space. Your germs can't come out if they try to escape when you keep your arm bent in just the right shape. Hooray! Yes, you did it! You learned something new that stops germs from spreading between me and you. Although this takes practice, you'll be pleased to know your elbow helps out like a superhero. The end. And this is Joan Morgenstern. She's our author. She has several books that are all about staying healthy. Thank you so much for sending in your book and I hope you have a great day. All right, friends. I wonder what our other friends are doing. I hear Melissa is gonna show us what she likes to do in her garden. Bye, have a great day. a wonderful tea party and this is a little song to sing when you have a tea party Polly put the kettle on Polly put the kettle on Polly put the kettle on we'll all have tea Suki take it off again Suki take it off again Suki take it off again they've all gone away Polly put the kettle on Polly put the kettle on Polly put the kettle on we'll all have tea Suki take it off again Suki take it off again Suki, take it off again, they've all gone away. Polly, put the kettle on, Polly, put the kettle on. Polly, put the kettle on, we'll all have tea. Suki, take it off again, Suki, take it off again. Suki, take it off again, they've all gone away. To have a wonderful tea party, first you have to gather your supplies. Here is the tea. This is hibiscus. It's made of real flowers and turns bright pink. Look, my shirt has hibiscus on it too. Some of these little flowers are hibiscus. Here is the teapot. The pot is so small so that we can have fun. Here are two cups for me and for my friend. This is my picnic cloth. And these are my cloth napkins. These are our tiny plates. Here is my snack. Cheese, crackers, radishes, almonds, apricots, and dried apples for the picnic. Polly put the kettle on, Polly put the kettle on. Polly put the kettle on, we'll all have tea. Suki, take it off again. Suki, take it off again. Suki, take it off again, they've all gone away. Wow, this tea is so pink. If I spill it, we'll have to laugh because it is always from now on either fun or funny. And there's our beautiful picnic. Now we have a feast in the leaves and the bright sunshine. These bunnies are curious. So are these flamingos. Now our feast is over and we'll put the things away, but not until I've eaten all these goodies with the help of my little friend. Polly put the kettle on, Polly put the kettle on, Polly put the kettle on, we'll all have tea. Suki, take it off again, Suki, take it off again, Suki, take it off again, they've all gone away. I'm gonna start with a little cheese and crackers. Bon appetit. Our furry friends need personal space, too. G'day, my name's Delta, and I'm a blue healer, which means I'm partly an Australian dingo. This is my stick. I quite like sticks. 
I need loads of room to roam. So when I need some extra space, I take my human out for a run. I like to stop and sniff everything I can, like leaves, signs, rocks and grass. Sometimes my human gets frustrated since she's not too keen to pause much. But I think she should try a good sniff too. This grass smells nice. I think I'll leave a little note for the next pup. This time of year, the leaves are beautiful, even though I can only see in two colours. We stop for a moment and see all the boats getting ready for the winter. Then we keep on round to see the beautiful Chesapeake Bay. Where I found something that smells so delicious, I might just put some on as a lovely perfume. Sadly, my human objects. Don't roll in that, no. No, don't roll in the dead stuff. I know it's so fun. Come on, Delty. Nearly home, my human and I stop to wish the geese a peaceful flight south for the winter. It's time for some music with Miss Melissa. I need space, my own personal space. Sometimes I need space, my own personal space. Thanks for